back to another match day vlog. This time it's Richmond Park, St. Patrick's Athletic taking on Shamrock Rovers, the champions tonight. Uh, really looking forward to this one. I think we're going to see a great atmosphere here. Big, big game. Pats losing two games in a row. Very disappointing from them. Rovers have lost once this season, but are top of the league. Um, obviously, they met in the President's Cup and uh, it was a really good performance by Pats. Rovers aren't really on it, but Pats still couldn't win the match. So that'd be a bit of a concern coming in tonight. You feel that Pats have to play really, really well and Rovers have to be slightly off for Pats maybe to get something out of the game. Um, Billy, what do you think of this one? Rovers yeah. and Pats? Pats, I think they're going to win. I yeah. mean, not Rovers. They're going to win and Pats. Are they? Um, I don't see... Laughs. I don't. <laughs> I don't see um, Pats winning, though. Do you not? The last few games, they uh, haven't been great. Me and Rovers have been. I don't know, they've won their last two games. They beat Rotter 3-1, yeah. didn't they? Uh, yeah, they are. Yeah. What are you expecting from tonight? What are you looking forward to? I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be looking forward to the atmosphere and mm. just watching the match itself. And goals. You want yeah. goals, oh, is it? Oh, yeah, they're my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> you want goals. Yeah, it's going, I think there will be a good atmosphere at the game tonight, guys. Yeah. Really looking forward to myself, so... Uh, We'll see you in there. I think you went for Rovers, didn't you? Yeah, I didn't go for Pats. Yeah, no. obviously I'm a Pats fan, but um, my head has to come into play here as well. I think Rovers might pinch this one 2 1. So looking forward to it now, guys, and we'll see you in there. What? I think 3 1. Oh, you've oh. gone for 3 1, have you? All right, would you like to go 6 0 maybe?
Right guys, just in the car, finished some Patrick's Athletic 1, Shamrock Rovers, nil, and um, she's just looking out, <laughs> she's looking at me, <laughs> she's opened the door and she shut the door again because she knows I'm doing this. Um, yeah, really, really good performance from St. Pat's tonight, uh, their first win against Rovers in 12 games um, since 2018, Killian Brennan, penalty, um, I think made it 2-0, that's the last time Pat's beat Rovers, but I thought Pat's were Outstanding tonight, I really do. They fought like lions. The contrast from Monday's game was just unbelievable. More or less to a man, you'd have to say. The teamwork was better. The work rate on and off the ball was better. Uh, and some performances were excellent. Forrester was brilliant tonight. He really was. He obviously got the goal, but uh, off the ball, he was brilliant. Um, on the ball, he was excellent. You know, what do you say? Adam O'Reilly slotted in very well with him alongside him in midfield and he was brilliant as well. Joe Redmond led the back line brilliantly. He was absolutely fantastic for Pats tonight as well. And, you know, overall, as I said, good team performance. The work rate was fantastic as well. You know, Rovers, at times, Pats rode their luck at times, but you're going to expect that when you're playing a quality side like Shamrock Rovers. And, you know, Rovers will be disappointed tonight, to be honest, with you losing two games out of four. Um, I won't say it'll send shockwaves in the league, but um, it, it make people, you know, take up notice and, you know, make it a little bit interesting, let's say, because um, so many teams are capable of beating each other, you have to be on it every week. And um, it was a massive win for Pats. I'm, I'm sure Tim Clancy wasn't happy with the game on Monday against Bowles. They were very, very flat. It was not a good performance. Um, but tonight they were on it. They were on it. And look, there's a lot more to come from Pats, I think. Um, they're still in transition I feel it's still kind of a new team he still has to figure things out in bits and pieces uh, Tim himself and um, you know it was nice to see the Pats fans seeing Tim's name tonight because uh, Tim is a, a coach that I've watched for a while now with his work with Drotada and he's a coach that I admire to be honest uh, Rovers as I said will be disappointed tonight the performance it wasn't a bad performance by Rovers you could say maybe they lacked cutting edge at times, and Pats definitely won that midfield battle as well. 
And they did have some chances, to be fair, Rovers in the game as well. And and Ang made some saves. There was one that just went over the top, I think, which was a good chance as well. A blow for them, but a big win for Pats after two defeats, particularly bad defeats, really. They they didn't perform in any of the games, but uh, look, they'll be happy tonight. And uh, look, Billy already gave his man the match, so we'll leave it there. You can see him kind of in the darkness. T tell the guys what to do, Billy. Like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell notification. Vacation button. <laughs> Good man. Yes. We have the best daddy ever here. <laughs> For God's sake. See you later, guys.